leadership needs to shift the way they think about real estate and, and the way they think about growth opportunities in real estate. Joining me today is Kevin Richards, partner and U.S. REIT leader with Deloitte. What insights can you share on technologies that could possibly drive growth in the commercial real estate industry in the years to come? And how should REITs be thinking about employing innovative solutions to better attract customers to their space? Um, our advice has been to think about real estate as a service. Um, really using technology and data uh, and all the capabilities we have to not just deliver space, but to deliver digital services and physical services to the tenants and other end users. Um, that starts with smart buildings, uh, not just the kind of energy efficient buildings, but buildings with flexible leasing arrangements, building with um, loaded with amenities, buildings that um, in, have interactive mobile apps that will interact with the, the end users, communicate with them, provide them updates and other information. Now we saw a surge in foreign investment in U.S. real estate assets toward the end of 2021, which seems to have continued here in the first quarter of 2022. What do you believe is driving that surge and what sectors are benefiting most this time around? And what's causing that? It's really the optimism that's out there around growth in uh, these REITs or these particular sectors. Um, generally, even with all the uncertainty with COVID and uh, travel restrictions and, and other um, uh, broader economic issues, um, generally there is a, a, a very positive view about the sector and the stable returns that it can provide. Uh, what we have seen though is that the foreign investment has shifted uh, a bit from office and retail uh, a few years back to now focusing on industrial and multifamily. We've also seen it leave the gateway markets and come into the more tertiary markets, uh, the secondary marketplaces. So, uh, but it is, it is plentiful, the volumes are very high. Now lastly, Deloitte works with many office REITs. What return to work trends are you seeing across the various US markets and do they have similar drivers? Yeah, the, the, the trends are positive, which is great. Um, I think each month we see a stronger move, stronger volumes in terms of swipes. Uh, we saw last year uh, leasing growth uh, each quarter uh, for, for last year, uh, quarter over quarter growth. Uh, so that's very positive as well. Uh, most of that growth was led by big tech, but we have law firms, finance companies, uh, insurance companies also helping to drive that growth. Uh, you know, in terms of where or what marketplaces I've seen the most, uh, I think Texas and the cities there uh, has, has been relatively stable but high, right? They've had the strongest uptick uh, and, and that's you know, Austin, Houston, Dallas um, in terms of the, the top cities. And that could be because of the energy sector uh, and just the in-office um, mentality that they have and then the, uh, the companies that service them have. In terms of um, other what I would call laggards, but again on the uptick is New York, DC, San Francisco. Um, we saw a slower uh, return to work there in terms of swipes um, and, and obviously Armacron was, was a challenge as well. And I think the reason for that is somewhat similar, meaning the jobs that happen in those uh, cities um, can be done remotely. Right? They were able to pivot uh, to a remote workforce uh, relatively easily. And so now they're, you know, and there's also some political concerns, particularly in New York and others, but now they're pushing people to come back to work. Uh, that said, uh, I think the hybrid work model is here to stay. Uh, I don't think that's, that's going anywhere. Uh, I think it generally, it's really good at attracting talent. Um, there's some criticism that it could erode uh, corporate culture, and I, I do believe there's some of that. But there'll be a balance. Uh, I think what our real estate leadership needs to do, and it kind of comes back to that first question, is to make the office a place people want to come.